Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read. Today I'm going to be doing the classic rock book tag. So I was tagged to do this by Backlist Books and I will put their video in the description down below. This tag is actually pretty interesting because all of the um, prompts are named after classic rock songs. So I think that's really cool. And I think this will be a fun one to do. So the first one is Don't Stop Believin'," and this prompt is, what is a book that inspired you? For this one, I chose Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviathan. Um, this book is about two boys that are both named Will Grayson, and they happen to meet, and both have very different storylines, but learn a lot about themselves through each other and their connection that they make. Um, it has a lot of LGBTQ plus rep in it, and this book was actually one of the first books that I read with this, also released by Patrick Ness, but this was the other book that was like the first one that I read of that kind before I discovered Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and I am very thankful this, for this book because I, I really enjoyed it and it opened me up to that genre of book. It was also a really funny book, like I remember I was reading this in a bus when we were going on a trip, I think to Toronto, and I was just like cracking up in my seat <laughs> on the bus and people kept looking at me funny because I was like reading this book and laughing, but I was just having the time of my life reading this book. And yeah, no, I just found it very inspiring from the two main characters and what they eventually went on to do in this book. So yeah, I would say check this one out if you get a chance. Then we have Dream On, and this is to name a character who pursues their dreams no matter what the cost. So this one was actually really funny that, like, I chose this, but I chose Deadpool from Marvel Comics because realistically, if you think about Deadpool, he will do anything to get what he wants, and he kind of, like, does not care about anything else. So his, like, one goal is to just make himself happy, and he... <laughs> He's just like the funniest guy like I love him as a character and this is like why they call him the Merc with a mouth because he's just hilarious and he just refuses to die and just goes on all these crazy missions and does the craziest shit and still survives all the time and he's just hilarious. I have the first three like big volumes of these graphic novels. Uh, I chose this one because he's like in a pirate outfit and I thought it was hilarious. So yeah. But Deadpool literally will do anything to make his dreams come true. So I found, I think that he's like the perfect character for this role. Next up is Stairway to Heaven. And this is to choose a book with your favorite lyrical writing. Now, I don't really have any books that have lyrical writing, but I do have this book, The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. And this book had kind of like flowery writing and that's the closest thing I can kind of associate to lyrical writing, so I chose this one. So this book is told in two different perspectives. One is of Leo, who is an old gentleman. He is Polish, and he had a very lively and young um, youth, and he had a very intense love in his youth, so he wrote a book about it, and now he is alone and old and lives in an apartment above these other people and he hits the radiator at night to let them know that he's still alive. Um, so it's kind of a sad story for Leo, but a lot of this book talks about his journey and to where he is now and his kind of like life's love story. And then it's also about another character named Alma. She's 14 years old. And as you read the book, you see how she kind of comes into play with this and a lot of things are connected that it's interesting to find out how they're connected. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's a short book. It's pretty adorable. And I just think it like that flowery writing style was really nice. I remember reading this for a book club a long time ago when I had, I wasn't on booktube or anything yet. I was just, I think it was a book club on Instagram that kind of like got me reading a lot more. And this was in college, and so I read this, and yeah, I just remember really enjoying this book. Then we have We're Not Gonna Take It, and so this is to name a character with a very rebellious um, personality. And so for this one, I chose Will from Five Feet Apart, because if you read this book, or even if you've seen the movie, the character Will, he, he becomes rebellious over time because he goes through the hospital system so much with his disease of cystic fibrosis. 
And so because he becomes rebellious, he kind of just, he's given up hope and doesn't really go with the, all the procedures that they're trying to put him through and all the new drug trials that they want to do. He's just kind of there to like appease his mom, but he is not exactly following all the rules that he's supposed to be. And he's being a rebel a lot of the time. And this is kind of how the book starts with him and Stella, you would see. Um, but yeah, so I chose him for the character of rebellious traits because he has a lot of them. Then we have who wants to live forever. And this is who is your favorite immortal character? So I chose Loki from Norse mythology because who doesn't love no Loki? Like he is hilarious and he's just like such a mischievous trickster, but like he's awesome. And especially in Norse mythology, he has a lot of different occurrences in a lot of the different short stories and he gets up to some crazy stuff, but he's just, he's hilarious. And I would consider him my favorite immortal. Like a lot of the other immortal people in this mythology book are not great. Like I don't even really enjoy Thor that much. I'm here for Loki. So yeah, that's who I would choose. Then we have Come As You Are. This is a book featuring drugs, drug addiction or addiction recovery. So for this one, I chose The Spectacular Now. Um, this book was also made into a movie and I actually saw the movie before I read the book. And it's about a guy who's going through high school and is just kind of falling in and out of relationships. And he's just, he's struggling a lot to kind of figure out where his life is going. His father is also not really present in his life, but he wants to find this father figure and kind of connect with him a little bit more. And all of this is like bearing down on him. And so he takes up drinking and starts drinking a lot every day and kind of becomes addicted to it. And so it's kind of like his journey of cleaning up his act, but also like being in high school and how all of those influences take a part in how his story goes along. Um, so yeah, he is dealing with some alcohol addiction in this book and that can be triggering to some, but I did find this book to be a very good read. It's not very long. And I think that it is very realistic for how high school can be. So if you want that kind of book, then this is definitely a good choice. Then we have Dancing With Myself, and this is to choose a book that has no romance or an asexual character. Now, sadly, I don't know, I don't think I've actually read a book with an asexual character, but I know that this book, Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, does have an asexual character in it, so this is the one I would choose for it. I don't really know much about this book other than that, but yeah, that's what I would choose. As for like a book with no romance, it is actually so hard to find a book with no romance. I went through like my whole shelves and even like in the middle grade books, they, ha they have like romantic elements when like kids have crushes on each other and things like that. So that's pretty difficult. I mean, I could count my travel guide books because they don't have romance in them. So yeah. Then we have, I would do anything for love. And this is a character that would do absolutely anything for their loved ones. Now this one, I've talked about this character quite often on this channel. And a lot of you guys know that I feel very strongly for this character, but that is Finnick from The Hunger Games. You can clearly see how Finnick will do absolutely anything for Annie. And it shows in all of the books and especially in the movies like that. Sam Claflin played that so well and just, oh, I loved every bit of Finnick in the books and the movies. I thought he was fantastic. And yeah, Finnick would absolutely do anything to save his loved ones. He shows it in the way that he protects Katniss and Peeta and Joanna, like, and all the other characters that he's aligned with. Like he was literally passed around as a sexual desire for a lot of people in the capital just to gain secrets for himself to protect those that he loved and protect himself, obviously. But like, uh, Finnick, Finnick is just like one of the best characters. Then we have living on a prayer. And this is to name a character that is in a precarious living situation. For this one, I went with Joe Trigieri and chose Ariel from the Grey Sisters. Uh, Ariel is living in kind of like 
occult village on a mountain. And I feel like that's not the most secure or safe place to live. So I thought that that fit very well for this prompt. I was also going to choose um, her other book, Ashes Ashes, because the main character in that is like living at a, in a tent right after like an apocalyptic event happened. And so like that also would have applied, but I chose this one. And then we have the last one, which is Good Riddance. And this is to name a book that took an unpredictable turn. And so I'm gonna finish it off with another Joe Trigiari and Blood Will Out. This book, I did not see the ending coming at all. I was so surprised at how it ended out. And I think that was awesome because I was expecting one thing the whole way up and I was trying to like put piece and piece together to try and like figure out what it was going to be. And then I got to the end and it was just like whew, completely flipped around and I loved it. I loved it so much. Like my mind was blown, but in such a good way. It was, it was a great ending. And those are all the prompts for the classic rock tag. If any of you guys want to do this tag, definitely do it. I'm going to tag some people, but I'm just saying it's open to everybody and I will put the questions in the description down below so that you can do it too. So I'm going to tag three different booktubers. I'm going to tag Raven Bell Books, Novelty Corner, and Made Between the Pages. You guys don't feel any pressure. You absolutely do not have to do this tag if you don't want to. I'm just choosing you guys tags. I, I don't think I've tagged you guys in anything yet. So yeah. Also, we have a new book club on Goodreads that I'm running with a bunch of other booktubers, but it's mainly run by Sukrup Books. He is the one that kind of like came up with the idea to start this whole thing. And it's called Next Chapter Book Club. I'll put the link to it down in the description so you can check it out if you want. We're already up to, I think, 30 people in the book club. So that's like super exciting. And for the month of July, we're reading the book Slay by Brittany Morris. So we're going to have, a, I think it's a live show at the end of the month. And I think they're going to do, like, every month we'll have another live show. Um, I won't always be, like, doing every month, but I will be taking part in every once in a while. But, yeah, you guys should definitely check it out, and I will, I'll link it down below. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon, and I also have a Ko-fi page, which will also be in the description, so you can check those out as well. Um, you know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, and until next time... Keep on reading.